Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to do STM32 with uh, ESP01 with ThingSpeak. The zero here and it's zero and this is a timestamp going to increase. Uh, I'm going to fast forward the video to see more value. Let's get started with this. The wiring connection is here, this side and the other side. I will provide the diagram. The wiring diagram is here. This is the module. There are 8 pins labeled here. A9 to RX, A10 to TX, 3.3 volt to N and ground to ground, uh, VCC to 3.3 volt. Uh, make sure this module is responding to AT command by connecting to USB to TTL module. Uh, and check it. I have made a video, separate video to show how it works. It's available here. Now, for the ESP module, there are two different modes, station mode and soft access point mode. We are going to do this one today. For this one, we have to connect to an access point and we put the access point name and password here and it will connect. Uh, other one is this one. This one can act as an access point. It can directly connect. Uh, I have made a, another video in my list, the previous video there, if you want, you can watch. Now for the code, it's very simple. Uh, we reset and then we set the CW mode and CW jab and the zip max. And in the loop, we go for a full for loop and we step by 0, 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100 for F1. F2 is the timestamp and we start the zip and then we send it. Uh, you can see in the code and uh, for example uh, this command we can find in the this page number 13 to 71 the AT command instruction set is in this web address and uh, when you go to page number 13 we can see the AT plus, plus RST command we go to thingspeak.com I do this one in the description below also if you don't have account you can create account for free create one and uh, click continue and uh, we tick this one now we go to the email there will be a new email maybe the email in the junk email uh, click this one and verify email. It's verified. Now click continue. And you can give a password. Accept. Continue. Okay. Personal or student use. channel is here let's create a new channel a name I'm going to give my name a description STM32 uh, field label uh, loop um, this one I have another one uh, time stamp uh, this one maybe loop value mm. That's all we can save channel. Uh, two chart is cre are created. Now I'm going to change this one to loop value. Now this one is also changed. I'm going to delete this one. Before that, I'm going to add a widget. I'm going to add this widget next um, field two and uh, time. Stamp create now oh, it's created so now I can remove this chart and also I'm going to add another widget uh, this one for that I'm going to 
have the field one. Um, that's the loop value. Create. Now they are created. Now for the API keys, um, these are the key we need to use. This is the key we can use in this way. I show you in the cube ID code, and also you can have uh, channel setting. Uh, sorry, sharing. You can share to public to everyone, or you can click and enter email, and they can. Some people only can watch, so I keep this one for private. And API keys. Uh, now we we go to cube IDE. Now I am in the cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Click file, new, STM32 project. For the commercial part number F103C8. This is for the blue pill. Click next. And name I put uh, thing speak. Uh, finish. Uh, for the system core, sys select debug serial wire and uh, connectivity select usart1 mode asynchronous configuration uh, parameter setting a uh, board rate is 115200 this is for the my esp module if your, your one is different change it otherwise we can keep it uh, that's all the setting we can click save yes yes uh, for simplicity i have given the code in my website Let's go there. I give the link in the description below. Uh, this is the one. When you go below, the diagrams are here. The code is here. And in the includes, we put these two lines. Paste it here. And in the user code begin to, we copy from here until user code end to, that is here. We copy. And uh, go to cube IDE and user code begin to is here. We paste it and in the while loop we copy from here until here. Copy and uh, go to the while loop that's here. Paste it. So, what is happening here before that we can. Uh, yeah, what is happening here is uh, I have the API here and we need to change the key. Uh, we go there. This is the key we need to use. So the way they asked to use this way. So we take this, copy this key and go there. We paste it. And uh, as I saw in the slide, I, I do the reset. And then CW mode to one, and then CW jep. You need to use your access point in your router or something. And uh, the password is here, so I'm going to change the password. This password is wrong. I'm going to change it. Um. Zip mark to zero as I shown, and then in the loop. So we ship, ship start with the API and then I have the in the loop it's happening uh, 0 to 101 so 20 steps that means 0, 20, 40, 8, 40, 60, 80, 100. So that's the F1 value. F2 value is the hull get tick that's the timestamp. So I'm transmitting, transmitting F1 and F2 with the API. So in this way so we transmit and then uh, do it again. Um, that solves the code. Now we can save and upload the code. Yeah, everything's uploaded. Uh, let's go to the browser and go to the things peak and go to private view. Uh, there's zero entries. Uh, it will take about one minute to get the first data and then it will update every uh, 15 seconds. So we got the first value 
the first uh, time stamp is this one first value is 0 and uh, this is 0 and uh, in another 15 second we get the second value yeah we got the second value now i will fast forward the video Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I will answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.